Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I change my nutrient solution. My tomatoes back here are very thirsty and to combine, they have drank six gallons of water over the course of four days. So they are thirsty. And so we're gonna go ahead and give them some more nutrient water and we'll show you how, to, how I do it. If you like this content, like and subscribe. There's more coming. Uh, also go to my website, link is in the description and get my 11 step free guide on how to get started with hydroponics if you haven't before. There's also a free checklist there and all of my tools and equipment is here on my website as well. So you could just, I'm an affiliate. I, I like and I trust this stuff. So if you want it, if you like what I got, it's all on my website. So let's get into it. All right, so before I go ahead and show you the actual mixing solution, we'll do a small lecture on what I use and why. Okay, so, and how often do I change it? So, got some notes here. Um, so, you should be changing your nutrient solution. Recommended is no longer than once, no later than once a week. However, if you're using a root inoculate like HydroGuard or Revitalize, then you could probably get away with every two weeks. However, you know, this, the main purpose of keeping it less than a one week is um, you wanna make sure that the bacteria doesn't attack the plant, the roots of the plants. That's like one of the biggest issues I had before I started using HydroGuard and Revitalize is that the plants would get attacked and then the, the, the roots would be destroyed and then the plant would die and then I wouldn't have it anymore. Also, uh, as a plant drinks water, it, it takes certain nutrients in and it doesn't take other nutrients in. And so if you don't change your water, you just keep dumping nutrients in there on top of nutrients is that eventually you'll have a, a concentration of one type of nutrient and then you'll have a dilution of another. And then that might cause plant lockout. You know, your plant be, might be overwhelmed with one with one concentrate and be starving for another. And that's not what you want. So you, whenever you change water, you drain the tank and you start fresh. Um, this which nutrients do I use? So I use Flora Broom from General Hydroponics. I use Cal Magic for calcium magnesium, which plants need. And I use HydroGuard. And I put Revitalize on here because I hear that HydroGuard is not putting as much um, bacteria in as Revitalize is. So I'm not sure, I'm listening to comments and stuff like that. There's a whole, uh, appears to be a scheme. So either or, um, pretty much what these do is these have bacteria that will kill the root rot causing bacteria. So that's, it's almost necessary for me. I don't really like doing the hydroponic, the hydrogen peroxide flush, uh, which is another method if you want to keep your water clean. But the bacteria, you can't let your bacteria fester in there. Okay, so there also, before I used these parts, so I also got this over here, this is Flora Bloom. So my tomatoes are getting Flora Bloom because I want flowers and the rest of my stuff gets uh, Flora Grow. And then while the tomato was really small, it got Flora Grow. And then once I saw flowers, I switched over this one. Now before then, I used this three part mix here. One, two, three. However, you know, I really didn't like it because it's like, man, I gotta, I gotta mix all this stuff already and I gotta mix three parts. And you know, you gotta mix them at different rates. And let's say if you want your plant to do something, you gotta mix it this way. And then now look, look, this one's, this one's more empty than the rest of them. So this one's, this one's more full. And so when, when I run out of this one, I have to order all three again. And so I'm eventually gonna have a bunch of this and, and not of this. And so it's like, I'd rather just have it in one container. You just put one thing in there. It's just simpler, easier. I'm not, I mean, if you're an advanced grower and you wanna control exactly what your plant does when, and you know all that stuff, like you know calculations and nutrient, you know, densities and intake of plants and stuff like that, then maybe you wanna do the three part mix. But if you're a beginner or even an intermediate, even to advance, if you just wanna keep things simple, this is everything you need here. Calcium, magnesium, I think is required because I had a lot of tip burn. So um, you have immobile nutrients and mobile and immobile nutrients. So mobile nutrients, um, as the water goes through the plant. So how plants use water is it's a flow through system. So it goes in through the roots, through the plant, and then out through the bottom of the leaves. Uh, that's called like transpiration or something like that. So as it does that, it takes certain nutrients with it, but calcium magnesium is a immobile nutrient. So if, 
as the plant is growing and it doesn't have enough calcium and magnesium, the leaves will get stunted and they won't be able to grow. And it's like the leaves on the edges will die. And even if you add some later, it's like, you know, that's not gonna fix it because it needs it when it's growing. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so what kind of water do I use? Most of the time I have an RO system here and I use water. However, before this, I used tap water and I was able to grow plants and stuff like that. If, if you're on a budget, then using tap water is, is absolutely fine. And you know, check your, use a EC meter, right? Like this one right here. It, it measures micro -cinnamons. you put it in the water. So you want less than 200, which shouldn't be a big problem because um, unless you're using well water, if you're using well water then, or even rainwater from outside, you know, you gotta be careful because you need to dissolve your nutrients in there and if the nutrients don't dissolve then your plants can't absorb it so but it, because it's testing how much stuff is already in the water that's what tap water has okay that's um i do check ph every once in a while but i don't always check it because uh the the tap water you drink is supposed to this is a ph tester and i got two of them so i can compare to each other i'll do another video where i, I show you how i adjust pH subscribe for that um but pretty much the the water the FDA water has to be within a certain pH and most of the time I check it it's already at seven and so sure I could add and make it go down a little bit to 5.5 but I mean the, the plants are doing fine so you see how big my tomatoes are back there so let's get into it let's get back let's get over here and let's change my water and uh, I'll show you how to do it so join me all right so here's my pollinator <laughs> This is how I make sure all the leaves get, all the flowers get pollinated. You're supposed to have a fan blow on it, so. Okay, so this is how I connect them. So you see you back here, bam. So all three barrels are connected. And so I'm able to determine the level of either one of these by checking the level of this because, you know, according to physics, you know, water's supposed to be level across all connected container containers. So I know that the other containers are the same level. And so every day I just come down here and I pop this lid off and I see how low the water is. So the water is very low right now. And by the way, I'm using the crack key method. Crack key with a DWC air bubbler. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna drain the water. And since I'm also moving the tomatoes, oh, that's gonna be really good. So you just, you just pop it off. I'm in the basement, so I can do this. But. You may want to have alternate methods of draining your water. You can suck it out. Everyone's situation is different. So it's just going to go straight to the drain over here. So here's my RO system. And since it flows rather slowly, I'm having it start now. This is a seven gallon container. I got two, three gallon containers. So I should be able to fill this up once for both containers. And Let's do the fun part of moving these tomatoes. This is gonna be fun to watch. All right, so I don't know if you can see, I, I rinsed out the whole system. So, uh, this is just that bottom fish tank. This is on my website too. Oh no, I got a leak. I got a leak. There's a leak in the boat. Hold on. All right, so we're using tomatoes. That means we're using floral bloom. First rule, shake vigorously. Um, we're using one teaspoon per gallon. We got seven gallons. There's three teaspoons 
and a tablespoon. So that's two tablespoons, but we're doing double because we got flour, so four tablespoons. Next up, Cow Magic. This is one teaspoon per gallon as well. So this is a seven gallon container. Uh, so uh, three tables, three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So this is two tablespoons and a little extra. Always make sure every time you add something, you mix it in so that there's no concentrations or touching concentrates, right? Yeah, you might cause some sort of weird chemical reaction if you let one concentrate interact directly with another concentrate. We're using HydroGuard. I'm using HydroGuard because I started it and uh, I'm going to finish it. So this one is uh, two milliliter per ga per gallon. Two milliliters is uh, half a teaspoon. Yeah, I'll ask Siri later. So that means they should need instead of two. That's half the measurement. So instead of two, give one, and then give a little squirt just cause. that in. There you have it. That's mixed. Make sure you clear out your container every time. You see I use this to mix? That's because I don't want to put a concentrate in here, dump it in here, and then put another concentrate in here, and those two concentrates mix. So that's why I always, I always do that. Now we're going to transfer this over here, and I like to do stuff ergonomically. So we're gonna use a pump to do it because why hurt your back lifting up seven gallons of water? Like just why, I mean, you don't have to. All right, there you have it. It's a draining. You got a little hole, are you serious? Come on, man. All right, so there it is. That's, I just changed my nutrients. Uh, whenever you change the nutrients, it's always good to make a note of it, okay? So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Man, I gotta trim this sucker down. This barely fits in here, so let's trim it down. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.